As many of you know, who are following us here at Wham Engineering, uh, we use a lot of the Kuzma audio tone arms. Um, we've got all three of the four point series as well as the uh, reference 313 that we use for everything from our, our research and certainly for our Kuzma pre-mount uh, service where we analyze the cartridge and mount it right to your head shell and send it on its way to you. Doesn't get easier than that for setup by the way. So the research that we've been performing over the years has led us down the path of experimenting with the question of what additional performance can we get from our same tone arm? Because now remember, if you're watching my other videos, you'll know that I insist that the tone arm only deteriorates to greater or lesser degree the ability of the cartridge to perform its job. It can't make it any better. It's either performing a function of holding the cartridge immeasurably still and still able to follow the mean position of the grooves, or it's not, to greater or lesser degrees. So this research led us to this. It's a replacement head shell that we're now making available to WAM engineering clients. Uh, we call it the Colossus because it's big. It is quite a bit heavier than the normal uh, Kuzma head shell and comes with an extra counterweight to take care of that extra mass. And it does a number of things that the original head shell doesn't do besides add extra mass. And I will be doing many more videos in the future on the significant advantage of high mass arms. There are some provisos, however, that are important that you need to keep in mind that if you're going to go down the high mass route that uh, you just need to take into account of. I'll, I'll address one or two in this video. So in addition to the extra mass, it also offers a vertical offset. So the surface where the uh, cartridge mates to the, the, the head shell is elevated relative to the central body of the arm wand, which forces the horizontal pivot of the Kuzma tone arm to get down below record level. And there is some advantage to having the horizontal pivot in that four point design to be slightly below record level, which should be a topic of another video. Additionally, there are, if you look closely in the, this head shell, there are damping chambers. In the damping chamber is a type of viscoelastic material that we've created. There's some of the chemicals over my shoulder here that is inside of this chamber and performing a very important function. We really were not quite sure whether this would make any difference at all, at all, but we're quite surprised when we did hear it. These Colossus head shells, as we're calling them, did go through beta testing with a number of uh, beta testers uh, globally, uh, as far away as South Africa. We sent them the earlier versions of these, this head shell before they even had the damping chambers on them and ask them to assess. All of the comments we got back from our beta testers all reported hearing significantly increased sense of authority and clarity and sense of focus to the presentation. Uh, the base performance increased in solidity and depth and texture. Separation between instruments improved rather dramatically and the soundstage grew. I even had a couple beta testers exclaimed to me that they thought that they aren't even listening to the same cartridge anymore, that they're hearing so much more than what they heard previously. They had a tough time believing it was the same cartridge. This is not a subtle improvement. Um, that is what I was consistently hearing from the beta testers, and it's certainly the way I feel about it. I won't go into all of the scientific reasons as to why this works so well. The purpose of this video is to announce that the Colossus head shell is now available, and and I'm so confident that you're going to love this that uh, we're going to offer a money back guarantee. The only condition that could cause some problems for you when using the Colossus on your Kuzma arm are record warps. And you're going to hear me talk a lot more about record warps and why we shouldn't be tolerating them at all, even if they don't cause an obvious problem for us. For those who have heard me talk about it before, they've heard me say, tolerating record warps is something that at the higher end of vinyl playback, we should never tolerate. Doing so and creating the conditions in our playback that make 
the allowances for being able to play back records that have warps in them are keeping us from getting better performance from our cartridges, full stop. Again, this will be the subject of a couple of videos coming up in the future. So that's something we can discuss if you contact us and we can go in more detail about that. But in any case, there's no reason we should tolerate warps. Spir certainly, if you've got vacuum hold down, it's not an issue. But I encourage everybody to get a record flattener or at least an outer ring clamp. Now, record flatteners, again, I'll do a video on that in the future. But for now, if you've got a Kuzma four point design, the nine, the 11 or the 14, I highly suggest you try this out. For those of you with the Kuzma reference 313 arm, uh, we're just working on a counterweight option for you on that arm, but it is possible that we can make this head chill work on that arm for you as well. Look for more of these videos in the future where we share some vibrational measurement data that uh, is related to the use of the Colossus and much more discussion on the benefits of high inertial mass tone arms and the need for high rigidity in the tone arm system. So there it is. Please reach out to us if you've got any questions and enjoy Analog Forever.